Hey guys, this is Bigness here, load at lesson number 6, how to be a cheap ass. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make 4 guns on a new account. Since I've seen some complaints on the forums about people saying that you have to spend space bucks to get decent weapons, and that's just not the truth. First gun I'm going to make is for close quarters. You want standard sock, since it doesn't give penalties. You want... Laser guided would be the most optimal, but we don't have that since we're using a fresh account basically. So we're going to go with recon. You want Gatling for rate of fire. You want full auto or spooling. This is up to you. I like full auto a little better just because it's close quarters. You're not going to have that spool up time to see when people are coming. I prefer standard just because it's standard. I have other plans for high caps later. I'm using Slug since it's going to give you the most damage right away. It just, any of these can work, it's whatever you want. And this is basically how you use the gun. You just jump around and spam people with it. It's pretty simple. You got decent range from all the way out here. And yeah, this is one of the top guns right now. Second gun I'm going to be making will be a healing rifle. Not the most popular choice, but for this episode, this is how it's going down. Alright, so you want dampening because the aluminum is going to be used for snipers. Actually, we'll use aluminum for this. No, scratch that. You want dampening because for a sniper, you don't want to lose the extra reload and damage. We'll want assault as a barrel, iron sights, you just use spooling or full auto, use the opposite whatever you use there. I used full auto before so I'm going to use spooling now, high cap, and then healing. This is probably the best healing gun right now since uh, the flak healing nerf, you probably heal 300 with this. If people keep needing the health, it's definitely accurate, high heal times, and you can spam it since it's with high cap. Next gun will be a sniper. You want the aluminum sock for this. The choice between your scope is whatever you want. Most people use three times, or you can use the 1.5 if you use something else for the slug. I prefer three time like most people. Barrel, you want sniper, because it's a sniper. Semi auto, since you're using bolt action for the magazine. And pyro, since this is gonna be the most effective, since you don't have a the slug when it was used on the pulse. It's almost a one shot kill. That bug with pyro is still there, it looks like. You get a little bonus damage on the dummies. I don't think it's there in the real game, though. The next gun I'm going to be making is a launcher. I was initially going to go with beam, until I realized that launcher gets a good port, or a good stock, that doesn't have bad penalties, like shock, absor or shock absorbing, or dampening. For the scope... You're gonna go with whatever you didn't use before. I think it was five times we didn't use. For the barrel, you're gonna want three round. For the trigger, we want three round since we have three rounds in the barrel and the previous ones are used on the previous guns if you copied all those. I prefer juice over Tesla since helping out your teammates is always a good thing. It's a good way to help you win a game. You can go with Tesla for a anti-rocket cloud and do a bunch of AoE damage on blitz points. I prefer juice because you just spam it on your team and yeah, they get crazy buff, increased damage, increased jump height, other stuff. You can look that up on the wiki to see the other stats it gives. It's pretty easy to hit. It's definitely not the best guns, but for just starting out, these will get you through that initial oh shit these people have better guns than me kind of phase and thanks for watching if you guys enjoyed hit the subscribe button 
going to be doing map breakdowns pretty soon. So hopefully those turn out well and you guys enjoy them. Thanks for watching. See you later.